B.C. has opened the registry for children aged six months to four years to get the COVID-19 vaccine. While many parents are waiting eagerly to get their kids under five vaccinated, some are still holding off, even with COVID cases on the rise. For some clarity on the new kids vaccine, I'm joined by Dr. Melissa Lem. Dr. Lem is a Vancouver family physician and clinical assistant professor at the University of British Columbia. She's also our resident doctor. So Dr. Lem, what would you say to a mom or dad who's hesitant to get their child vaccinated at this point? The first thing that I would do is listen to their concerns because I'm a parent myself. I get it. We want what's best for our kids and we would do anything to keep them safe. And this is exactly why I would recommend the COVID-19 vaccine for young children and every Health Canada recommended vaccine because they're safe, they work and they save lives. We are products of a generation that has vaccines to thank for preventing infectious diseases like polio, measles and tetanus that have severe life-changing consequences for kids. And with COVID-19 specifically, we need to think about our larger families and social networks. While it's true that kids are at lower risk for severe illness than adults, vulnerable people like grandparents or kids who can't get vaccinated for various reasons are often part of our circles. So vaccination protects not only ourselves, but also our wider communities. And have you seen a change with parents of older children who were once hesitant but are now getting their children vaccinated? Is there anything that can sway them? I did have a few conversations with parents of older kids about this, and while some of them booked the first appointments they could, like myself, others took a wait-and-see approach. And some of those parents are still waiting and seeing. Although 90% of Canadians 12 and over have had two shots, only about 40% of kids between 5 and 11 have had the same. And I think part of the reason is that a lot of kids have already contracted COVID-19 at this point, so parents feel like they've been boosted. But unfortunately, with this virus, there's no such thing as one and done. You can catch it repeatedly and we know that vaccines produce more effective and longer lasting immunity than infection so i think educating parents about that fact and also appealing to them on a personal level telling a story for example about someone you know who's had a bad outcome might convince them so there's been a lot of misinformation about vaccines out there what, what's the one that you tend to hear that comes up the most i, I mean i tend to hear a lot of uh, there's not enough research done on these vaccines they're too new too rushed what do you hear about I would say the biggest misconception is that COVID-19 vaccines cause more problems than, than they prevent, and this is 100% false. Over 32 million people in Canada, including over 1.6 million kids under 12, have gotten at least one dose over the past two years and no major issues have been identified. I will say at this point, most of us probably know children who have gotten COVID-19 and it seemed mild, but if you look at the bigger picture, COVID-19 hospitalizations in kids under five increased by over 10 times in the first three months of this year when Omicron started spreading. And even if the infection might seem mild at first, you never know what your immune system might do with it. Some kids do develop long-term serious symptoms, and if it's preventable, why not prevent it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's talk about preparing our kids. I've got a little one. He's not a fan of getting shots. Is there anything special to look out for or, or things that you think that parents can say to their kids to help them prep? Preparing for a COVID-19 vaccine is just like any other one. And for younger kids, it's usually best to tell them about the appointment shortly beforehand, not give them days and days to think about it. Staying calm and positive yourself and cuddling your child on your lap during the vaccine can help a lot. And distracting them too with a toy or music, or if they're a little bit older, getting them to breathe deeply can be useful. Common side effects to think about afterwards would be a sore arm, tiredness, or sometimes fever. And you can treat those as per usual with over-the-counter medications if you need to. And then don't forget to celebrate afterwards because we just got one step closer to beating this pandemic. Absolutely. Distraction is always a great one. Popsicle afterwards, right? Yeah. Dr. Melissa Lem is a Vancouver family physician and clinical assistant professor at the University of British Columbia. Thanks, Dr. Lem. You're welcome.